In a tranquil village nestled by the banks of a winding river, there lived a humble fisherman named Tao. Tao was known far and wide for his incredible skill at fishing. His fellow villagers often sought his guidance and marveled at his uncanny ability to catch fish when others failed. One crisp morning, as the sun began to cast its warm glow upon the river, Tao set out in his small wooden boat. With his fishing rod in hand and a hopeful heart, he rowed gently to his favorite fishing spot, a peaceful bend in the river. As Tao cast his line into the water, he noticed a boat approaching from a distance. The boat drew nearer, and Tao's curiosity grew. To his surprise, he saw that the boat was empty, without a single soul aboard. It drifted aimlessly down the river, carried by the gentle current. Tao watched the empty boat with fascination, and a sense of wonder washed over him. He contemplated the emptiness of the boat. There were no passengers, no cargo, and no one steering it. Yet, it continued to move gracefully downstream, unaffected by the river's twists and turns. Hours passed as Tao observed the empty boat's journey. He marveled at how it navigated the river with ease, going wherever the current led it, without resistance or struggle. There was a profound sense of harmony and simplicity in the sight of the empty boat peacefully drifting along. Suddenly, Tao had an epiphany. He realized that the empty boat was a reflection of his own mind. Like the boat, his mind was often filled with thoughts, worries, and deserus, weighing him down and causing inner turbulence. But what if, like the empty boat, his mind could be free from the burdens of attachments and distractions? What if he could let go and allow the current of life to guide him effortlessly? In that moment of clarity, Tao understood the wisdom of emptiness. He saw that true peace and serenity could be found by letting go of the need to control every aspect of life, by releasing attachments and expectations. Embracing emptiness meant surrendering to the natural flow of existence, just as the empty boat surrendered to the river's current. With newfound insight, Tao continued to watch the empty boat until it disappeared around a bend in the river, becoming one with the horizon. He returned to his fishing, but this time, he did so with a heart full of contentment and a mind free from the usual clutter. From that day forward, Tao shared his profound experience with the villagers. He taught them the wisdom of the empty boat, and it became a cherished tale that served as a reminder to all that sometimes, in the emptiness of surrender, we find the fullness of peace.